Namaste, students. Uh, we were uh, studying about refraction. Hope you are not bored with refraction, right? So, we have seen uh, different aspects of refraction. Now, let us take a small rest and uh, we will uh, go to the problems. How to go with the problems? One or two problems we have discussed, sign conventions and all. Now, we are uh, with a lot more of uh, uh, knowledge about uh, refraction, Snell's law and all. So, we will uh, discuss a little bit of uh, problems. So, moving on, and I've given uh, some problems to that uh, in that uh, PDF form. If you have that, just open it. Otherwise, we will uh, look into these problems. We will go one by one. Now, this problem here, an object is placed at a distance of 6 cm in front of a concave mirror. Right? It is a, a concave mirror problem. Object is placed at a distance of 6 cm from a concave mirror of radius of curvature 6 cm. Uh, find the position and nature and magnification of final image formed. Okay, answer is also given. Uh, now, coming back to the board, is a concave mirror. You see the positions always in a mirror, in a lens, and uh, um, uh, okay, in both. Whenever you find out the image, please take care of the theory. You know what should be the position of the image if the object is kept at a particular place, what size of the image should be formed, all these things you must have in your mind. Then whatever the answer you get, you can analyze it uh, whether it is correct or not. So we will uh, go along with that. So here the problem goes like this, an object is placed at a distance of 6 cm in front of a concave mirror. Always draw the concave mirror such that object comes to the left hand side. So this is uh, principal axis, this is concave mirror and if you incident parallel rays to the concave mirror, all the rays meet at the focus here. So focal length is this side and focal length is uh, said to be 6 cm, um, uh, radius is 6 cm, so center will be here, suppose focus is here, center is here. So they say R is uh, 6 cm and uh, a concave mirror of radius 6 cm and object is kept at 6 cm. So focal length is 3 cm. Okay, and object is kept exactly at the center because it is 6, that is what they say, right? Now, so an object is kept at a distance of 6 cm in front of a concave mirror of radius 6 cm, right? Find the position and nature and magnification of the final image. Of course, you know, when the object is kept at C for a concave mirror, it is the only mirror which produces real image of the same size. So, image is also formed at C and it is uh, um, same sized but real on the same side as the object image is formed here only so when you uh, so object distance is 6 cm now taking care about all the signs sign conventions divide this into coordinates coordinate system like this so all the things coming under the right hand side positive, left hand side negative because when you start from the pole, when you move to this side, you are moving in the direction of light like this and above positive, below negative, yes. Now our radius is a negative because it comes in the left hand side and focal length is negative, comes in the left hand side. Object distance, negative, comes in the left hand side, all are left hand side, so here, here. And you know the result, image distance should be 6 cm, simply we are solving it now. We will check whether you get 6 cm or not. Image distance should be 6 cm and finally, you should get image distance also as negative. You know why it is so, because image is formed in the same side, so it should also be negative. Okay, now, um, so formulas, 1 by F is equal to 1 by U plus 1 by V. So, if 1 by f is equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v, if you substitute the values, 1 by minus 3 is equal to 1 by u, u is 1 by minus 6 plus 1 by v, v should be negative finally because you should get it in the other side, minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 6 is equal to 1 by v, that implies 6 common denominator, minus 1 by 6 is brought here, it becomes plus, 6 is the common denominator. 3 2 za 2 minus 1 minus 2 6 1 za plus 1 so that is 1 by v keep on writing this 1 by v always because finally there is a chance that you will take this answer itself as v but it is not v it is 1 by v so 1 by v is equal to minus 1 by 6 what does it imply v is equal to minus 6 centimeter image is also formed at the same place as the object of course shortcut method is 
simply uh, finding, uh, uh, applying the theory and getting the answer. What is magnification? Magnification is uh, minus V by U. If you substitute this, minus V by U. Minus is in its formula itself. Then V by U. V is minus 6. Object uh, is, uh, distance is minus 6. So, this minus is in the formula. V is minus 6. U is minus 6. So, what is totally magnification? Minus 1. Why, sir, it is minus 1? Magnification 1 indicates that object height and image height are same. Minus indicates that image is inverted. It is below the principal axis. So, very simple problem, but uh, you have to take it very seriously uh, and uh, work it out so that uh, uh, you will uh, uh, have the theory and answers matching each other. Then it will be, you will get the confidence that the answer is correct and then you will proceed forward. Otherwise, while applying some sign conventions, it is the confidence that works a lot. You will have to be very confident that what I put minus here is correct, this is correct, this is correct and everything. Otherwise, uh, you won't move forward. Right. We will move on to the next question. Right. Next problem. Right. Yes. A person is running towards a plane mirror with a speed of 6 meter per second. What is the speed of the image with respect to the person and with respect to the mirror? Right? Um, okay. Speed they have asked. Of course, you can answer velocity also. If a person is running towards a plane mirror, it's a plane mirror problem with a speed of 6 meter per second. What is the speed of the image with respect to the person? And what is the speed of the image with respect to the mirror? If mirror is also a uh, living being, if you ask the mirror, what, with what speed the image is running, what is its answer? Okay. In a plane mirror, coming to the problem now, uh, so velocity of the object is 6 meter per second. That's all the data. If in a plane mirror, you know that object distance is equal to image distance always. So, if you are standing in front of a plane mirror like this, suppose I am at a distance of 2 meter or 6 meter from the plane mirror. If I go by 1 meter forward, image will also move by 1 meter forward. So, totally between me and my image, there will be a difference of 2 meters. Because image will not uh, keep quiet. It will do whatever I do. So, if I move by 1 meter forward, image will also move by 1 meter forward. So, totally there will be a difference of 2 meters. Correct? Now, so, we will take uh, a generalized case. Uh, I will take uh, all the data with 1 meters so that it becomes uh, uh, easy for analysis. So, uh, or 10 meters I will take. Um, suppose I am standing at a distance of 10 meters from the mirror. Okay. And I will take the velocity as I will analyze the problem. Then we will go to the problem. Okay. Uh, we will have some discussion on this so that it will be helpful for entrance exam also. I am starting at a distance of 10 meters from the uh, mirror and um, uh, I am moving at 1 meter per second towards the mirror, say. This is the situation before you start moving and your image is sta standing at a distance of um, oh, 10 meters from the mirror, inside the mirror. So now, suppose there is uh, one more person, your friend, it is you, this is you and uh, this is uh, your friend okay this is yourself this is your friend friend is not moving friend is not moving uh, uh, towards the mirror now of course you can uh, imagine that you, another friend is uh, holding the mirror like this standing and holding the mirror like this okay There's a person holding the mirror so i will call him as m person who is holding the mirror now let us see the situation after one second because always remember what is velocity velocity or speed is the rate of change of displacement displacement divided by time taken right now if time taken is one second what happens is velocity becomes equal to displacement it itself right if time taken is one second Velocity becomes displacement is itself. A uh, um, car is moving at 10 meter per second. In one second, how much distance it will travel? 10 meter. It is automatically true. So we will restrict ourselves. Every discussion, everything uh, under one second. It becomes then what the answer we get itself is the velocity. So with this uh, in mind, keeping in mind. So delta t is always made for one second. Then velocity is displacement itself. Okay, as the displacement by one second actually. You know, unit will not. Uh, the magnitude of displacement is equal to the magnitude of velocity. Of course, displacement cannot be velocity. Magnitude of displacement will be equal to magnitude of velocity. Okay, let the body move in uh, 1 meter per second towards the mirror. 
Now, what will be the situation after one second? Let us see what happens after one second. After one second, I will or you will move by one meter forward, and new distance is nine meters. So you will move by one meter forward. Okay. Uh, so now your new distance is uh, uh, nine meters, and your image also will move by one meter forward. So this is uh, one meter, right? And uh, image will also move by one meter forward. Don't think that we are simply exaggerating the things. Uh, it's such an easy problem. Why it is uh, to be discussed so much? Finally, it becomes very complicated. Uh, so this is also nine meters. Image will also move by one meter forward. So the new distance between me and the image is, so here it is uh, 18 meters. Last time it was 20 meters. If I look at my image, the distance has decreased by 2 meters. So if you look into your image and if you run towards the mirror, then you will find that in one second, these are all the stories happened in one second. In one second, the image has moved by one, uh, 2 meters with respect to you. It is not by 1 meter because you have also moved by 1 meter. Suppose uh, your friend is in a city which is uh, uh, somewhat, uh, uh, say, uh, uh, 60 kilometers away from here. Then, if you move by 30 kilometer, and if he also move, moves by 30 kilometer, you can meet in the middle, middle of the two cities. So, actually, totally displacement is uh, 60 kilometers because you have moved 30 kilometer, he has moved by 30 kilometers. So, if you only one have to move in order to meet the other, he has to move by 60 kilometers. So, the change is uh, 20, uh, sorry, 2 meters. And uh, the change is 2 meters and the 20 has reduced to 18. So what do you feel? You feel that image is running towards you with the 2 meters per second. So if the velocity of the or speed of the object is uh, 1 meter per second then or V meter per second, then speed of the image with the respect to object. This is very important. Speed of the image with respect to object is equal to uh, double V, right? That is equal to 2 meter per second. Am I right? Or, or I will re uh, restrict this to only V. So if an object is moving at V meters per second, then image will be moving uh, with the 2 V meter per second. Am I right? With respect, velocity of the image with respect to object is 2 V meter per second. That means with respect to me, image is moving at 2 meter per second. Now, what is the velocity of the image with respect to mirror? With respect to mirror, if you want to know this. Now, you ask the mirror, what changes have occurred in one second? Total in one second, what are the changes that has occurred? Mirror will say, sir, initially, so mirror is here. Initially, the image was at 10 meter. Now, the image is at uh, um, uh, 9 meters. So, what is the change? Change is only 1 meter. So, with respect to velocity of the image with respect to mirror is, it is V meter per second. Of course, if you are strictly writing it, if you take the velocity of the object as positive, this is negative because image is moving in the minus x axis, this is minus V. Okay? And what about this? V of V minus of minus V, 2V, like that. So, uh, so, velocity of the image with respect to mirror is a v meter per second. What is the velocity of the image with respect to this third person? It is also uh, 1 meter per second because third person will feel that it has only changed by 1 meter because suppose the third person is at a distance of 5 meter from me, okay, from us. We are running towards the mirror. He will not move, so he will be here only, right? Initial distance between the image of this person here and the third person, your friend, is 5 plus 10 plus 10. How much it is? 25. Distance of the image with respect to the third person is 25. Now, he is here only. The third person is here only. This is 5 meters. What is the distance of the image with respect to the third person after one second? All the stories have happened. The velocity of the image, sorry, distance of the image is 5 plus this 10, 15 plus 9. Right? Correct? 5, uh, 5 plus, okay, 5 plus 10, 15, 15 plus 9, 20, no, 
sorry where did we go wrong? ah yeah this is 25 yes 5 plus now nah, this 10 15 15 plus 9 24 this is the image position so the new position with respect to the third person is 24 meters so distance of the image with respect to the third person is 24 meter so how much it has changed only by one meter so velocity of the image with respect to third person it is very similar to the mirror holding uh, the person who is holding the mirror velocity of the image with respect to third person our friend who is not running so it is v meter per second only so if your friend is observing inside the mirror then the image will be running with the same speed as a object uh, whereas uh, with respect to you it is double because your image is also coming towards you now uh, you will have different cases here actually this is the only simplest case i have taken enough time to explain it suppose mirror is running towards you you are not running towards the mirror mirror is running towards you what will be the case we will we will discuss it okay we will discuss it so that it will be helpful to you to carry on in the future problems uh, let us see the situation same situation you can take the same situation and analyze it i am standing uh, at a uh, uh, distance of uh, uh, 10 meters and uh, observer is uh, planning to run at a speed of 1 meter per second towards the mirror image is at a distance of 10 uh, sorry this is 10 meter this is 10 meter image image is here like this and uh, now uh, this is also 10 meter right now let the okay not the person running sorry it is a uh, mirror running suppose the mirror is taken with the speed of one meter per second towards the object mirror is running at a speed of one meter per second towards the object if this is the case okay now let us write all the conditions person will be here only you will be here only you will not uh, uh, move forward and mirror will move forward by one meter in one second so po new position of the mirror is uh, here in one second so this is after one second what is the story mirror will move by one meter forward and uh, uh, what is the new position of the object it is 9 meter right and where is the image 9 meter from here so image position is here correct now so you analyze the object position and image position initially the distance between the object and the image you ask the person you ask yourself where is the image 20 meters right so 20 meters from you after the mirror has started moving forward with a velocity of 1 meter per second towards this direction towards you what is the new position new position is only 20, uh, 20 uh, sorry 18 meters what is the change 2 meters in 1 second in 1 second everything has changed and produced a total distance of 2 meters so if only mirror moves towards you with the speed of v meter per second what is the velocity of the image with respect to you it is 2 v meters per second so velocity of the image with respect to uh, the object you have to ask the object itself but object is stationary mirror is running towards you so with respect to the object is uh, uh, it is uh, 2 v meter per second if the object is uh, sorry mirror is moving with the v meter per second in it is 2 v so this is how uh, you do right but this is not uh, all and you will have still some more cases in that you can refer any book or you can refer your teacher they will teach you how to do that but now you have to after getting this much of information you have to carry on yourself so that your brain should start working once you get the doubts you have to solve it with the teachers then they will teach you what to do so this is the way in which i solve you can solve it in your own way but what the thing is it looks very simple running towards the mirror image is running what a simple problem but it is very complicated now i will give you a homework you are running towards the mirror and mirror is also running towards you right i will give you a homework mirror is running towards you and you are also running towards the mirror say same speed v v take it as one meter per second one meter per second suppose you get the answer as four meter per second then it is four v answer whatever it is i don't know how much i get you have to analyze it if you have any doubts you just whatever you have worked out and if you didn't get the answer you put it in the whatsapp i will answer it right it is this number nine four eight zero one 
9801. You put it here, then uh, I will answer you, right? So the situation is, when you are running towards the mirror, your image appears to be running with the 2V, if your speed is V. When the mirror is running towards you, you are stationary, your image appears to be running with velocity 2V. Now you are running with V, mirror is also running towards you with V. What is the velocity of the image with respect to you? One question. Another question is, mirror is moving away from you, you are also moving, uh, you are moving uh, towards the mirror. Same speed. What is the velocity of the image with respect to you? These two are the homeworks. So you have plenty of ideas like this, right? So I will stop at this uh, uh, junction about this problem. We, so what is the question now? Coming uh, back to the question, um, going to the projector, what is the answer to this? Definitely it is a C. If a person is running towards a plane mirror with a speed of 6 meter per second, what is the speed of the image with respect to the person? Speed of the image is uh, uh, V minus of minus V, that is 2V, that is uh, 12 meter per second. What is the speed of the image with respect to the mirror? The person holding the mirror is not running. So the velocity of the image with respect to the mirror is only 6 meters per second. Speed. Okay. So simple. It is now, once you solve it elaborately, then it is simple. We will move to the second problem in the projector. Yeah. Now how to solve this one? A person is... Uh, uh, a person runs towards a rear view mirror, okay? The question itself has run away. Yeah, now you can see it. A person runs towards a rear view mirror. You know which is rear view mirror? It is convex mirror of a vehicle with a speed of 2 meter per second from a distance of 12 meter. So you are at a distance of 12 meter from the rear view mirror, mirror of a car, say. Now what is the speed of the image with respect to another person observing the mirror? Suppose the driver of the car is uh, sitting inside the car itself, car is at rest, then what is the velocity of that person running from? Suppose a person is jogging outside, well, if you look into the mirror in your car, with what speed that image is running towards the mirror, right? What is the speed of the image with respect to another person observing the mirror? Focal length of the mirror is 4 meter. So we will uh, come back to this problem. Easy problem, but first analysis requires some explanation. You can do this in two ways. If you want an accurate answer, you should uh, uh, go for one method. And if you want uh, uh, some uh, almost answer, you can do it in another way. Okay, two methods. Uh, but in entrance exam, you go for the differentiation uh, of the equation. Okay, now it's a convex mirror. Reflecting side is outside. This is rear view mirror. So you are sitting in a car and you are observing the, uh, so this is your nose, and you are observing the uh, rear view mirror. And the person is running from uh, somewhere here. So here is the person who is running and uh, coming like this. And uh, he is running at a speed of two meters per second towards the rear view mirror. And he is situated at a distance of 12 meter, I think. Yes, 12 meter from the mirror. It is like this, okay? So now, um, yeah, what is the speed of the image inside the mirror which is running towards you like this? Image will run towards you and in a convex mirror image is very small and it is virtual erect and all. Okay, so if you divide the whole coordinate system like this because the object should emit the rays and they should be coming along positive x-axis, uh, image distance should be positive because it is on this side, height, okay, height is not needed here, object distance is negative. What about the focal length? You know, if uh, parallel rays are incident on a convex mirror, they diverge in such a way that they appear to come from the focus. So focus is here, F is positive. Do it like this two or three times. Then you need not remember it at all. Then automatically the film will run in your brain. So convex mirror, rear view mirror, parallel rays diverge. They appear to come from the focus here. Focal length is on the other side, positive. Okay. Uh, now, what I'll do is, I will analyze it as it as I did in the previous problem. What I'll do is, uh, just now I have told, speed is equal to rate of change of distance. And if time is, uh, with respect to time, so time is one second, then the magnitude of displacement itself is speed. Okay? So I will restrict all the problem to one second. After one second, what will be the situation? I'll write. Okay? Then find out the images, for example. Now, this is uh, beginning, uh, I, will, I will write this as beginning, okay? This is the beginning. What is the image distance? 
I'll write it. Focal length strictly plus run traverse mirror of speed and uh, what is the speed? Focal length of the mirror is 4 meters. Yes. Plus 4 meters. Focal length of the mirror is 4 meters. And uh, uh, well, image distance is a question mark. Object distance is minus 12 meters. It is on the left hand side. And uh, okay. Uh, now let the person be here only, right? What is the image distance? Now, my analysis is like this. In the beginning, when the person is at a distance of 12 meter, where is the image? That is the first one. I will call it as V1. After one second, this person will be here, right? Somewhere here. How much distance he will uh, move in one second? 2 meter per second is its speed. So he will move by 2 meter in one second. So after one second, his position will be 10 meter. When his position is 10 meter, where will be the image new position? So this is V1 and this is V2. Then in one second, object will move by 2 meters and the new object distance is 10 meters. In one second, new image distance will be different because this is the new, uh, original image distance. After some time, the image distance will decrease because object has moved forward. So what is the new image distance? In one second, the image has moved from here to here. That is the velocity of the image because that is in one second. When you calculate everything in one second, velocity itself will be the uh, displacement, right? Magnitude wise, they are same. So in one second, what is the shift in the position of the image? That is what you have to calculate. In one second, what is the shift in the position of the object? That you can know, two meters. So in this one case, what is the image distance? I will calculate this one. You know the formula 1 by f is equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v1. First image distance, what is 1 by f? 1 by positive focal length, 4 convex, and is equal to 1 by, object is in this side, minus 12 plus 1 by v1 implies, this becomes plus, 1 by 4 plus 1 by 12 is equal to 1 by v1, common denominator 12, and 1 by v1, I don't uh, leave the habit of writing 1 by v1, you know for what reason, and uh, 12 is the common, 3 za, and 1 za, 12 1 za, so that implies 4 by 12 is uh, 1 by v1, and everything is in meters, and if everything is in centimeters, never mind. Now everything is in meters. Okay, uh, what is V1? Implies V1 is equal to, invert this, 12 by 4, that is uh, 3 meters. So this is the first image distance. This we, need, uh, we are in need of, first one. Now, allow the person to run for one second. Let, he, let him run for one, one, uh, one second. In one second, he will move forward by one meter. Now what is the new image distance, we will see. So after one second, what will be the story? Focal length of the mirror will be as it is, because it is the same mirror. Mirror will not keep on changing its focal length and radius as the person runs towards him or so. No, it's same, it's a constant. And what is object distance, new object distance? It is a minus 10 meters, because person has moved by two meters forward. And focal length is plus four. What is the new image distance, V2? V2 is how much? So again, 1 by F is equal to 1 by U plus 1 by V. Write it as many times as possible so that formula will be uh, very clear to you. And remember, the best way of remembering all the formulas is work out problems in those formulas. Automatically, formulas will get printed. Even though you can't remember the uh, solution of the problem, you will remember the at least formulas. So work out problems, write the formulas when you work out. That is the best way of remembering. Okay, where we are now, yes, 1 by 4 is equal to 1 by minus 10 plus 1 by V2. So we'll bring this here, 1 by 4 plus 1 by 10 is equal to 1 by V2. That implies this is 40 I'll take, common denominator. 40 if I take, okay, uh, you can take 20 also. Uh, 40 if I take, this is 10 plus uh, 4, that is equal to 1 by V2. That implies... Uh, 14 by 40 is 1 by V2, right? Then what else will remain? Yeah. V2 is equal to 40 by 14. 40 divided by 14. This is 20 by 7. So what is the answer? V2 is equal to 7 2s are 
14 and uh, 6 will remain 7 8s are 56 4 will remain uh, 7 5s are again 5 will remain and uh, I'll stop it here 8s are I'll stop it so 7 2s are 14 6 will remain 56 4 will remain 35 5 will remain okay enough now so this is the new image distance correct so image will shift by certain distance 3 centimeter 3 meters become 2.5858 meters this has happened in one second so what is the difference so shift in image in one second is how much 3 minus because original image distance is 3 minus 2.858 so what is the difference 10 minus 8 2 and this 9 minus 5 4 and uh, this is 1 this is uh, so I brought one here 0 0 0.142 so this is the shift uh, therefore this is in one second so image velocity or image speed is of course image speed will be in this direction image will be moving in this direction when the object is running like this if you would like better we like speed image speed is equal to 0.142 meters per second okay now this is not an exact way of solving the problem but you may solve this in the theory exam like this no problem you can solve this but it is not the exact way, way because see what change occurs if you come back to the problem sir suppose the object was at 10 meters if you do the carry on uh, uh, this problem in the same way from 10 to uh, 8 meters in next one second in first one second the object moves from 12 to 10 in the next one second it moves from 10 to uh, 8 right 8 meters and find out the image distance for 8 meters subtract it will you get the velocity of the image same no because when the object is at infinity image is formed at focus when the object comes nearer and nearer the image uh, gets uh, shifted and, and that, that shift is not the same for all the object distances when you are very far away from the object what the change in image distance you get when you come closer and closer the change in the image distances are not the same or in other words change in image distance when you are at 12 meters change in image distance when you are at 8 meters are not the same that means what they have asked you to calculate what is the speed of the image when you are at 12 meters that means you should have calculated it for a very small interval you shouldn't have calculated it for an interval of one second say 0 0.00001 second in 0 0.0001 second this object would have moved from 12 meter to 11.999 something that something like that within that gap you have to find out it should be as small as possible if the interval is very large then the variation will be much more and the answer will be will not be accurate so how to get the accurate answer but this method is not uh, very much wrong it is very close to the answer you can follow this correct method is differentiation you differentiate the equation get the answer because uh, it goes for very small intervals where the variation is uh, uh, not very much so how to do that I will take the equation mirror formula 1 by f equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v you differentiate with respect to time because uh, uh, when you take the mirror like this when you take the mirror like this object is running object distance is a variable it is a variable and it depends on time image distance is a variable it changes with the time but focal length of the mirror is not a variable it is a constant with respect to time so how to differentiate this sir? so shall I write this as uh, uh, f to the power minus 1 is equal to u to the power minus 1 plus v to the power minus 1 so we can write it like this now differentiate with respect to t time differentiating with respect to time time this is a constant so when you differentiate and you know that uh, d by dx of x to the power n is equal to n x to the power n minus 1 you know it right so uh, differentiate this uh, focal length it's zero you know this because it's a constant it doesn't uh, change with the time so differentiation of focal length is zero since it doesn't vary with time 
uh, it's a constant. So what about this one? N x to the power n minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, n minus 1, minus 2, into du by dt. What is du by dt? Change in object distance with time. That means it is the velocity of the object. So shall I write it here? It is the velocity of object or object speed, I will write, object speed. Because du, u is the object distance. Change in object distance with respect to time, du by dt. Plus, you have to differentiate this one, n, x to the power, n minus 1, minus 2, into differentiation of v, dv by dt. What is dv by dt? This is the speed of image. Image speed, I, can, I could have written. Speed of image. And uh, uh, this is speed of object. So if I replace this formula as 0 is equal to minus 1 by u square, I will bring this to the denominator, du by dt, object speed, minus, this becomes minus, 1 by v square, dv by dt, velocity of the image. You bring this here, because this is what is needed. This is what is needed, velocity of the image. So, if I bring it here, 1 by v square, plus, this becomes plus, uh, dv by dt, is equal to, this will, minus will remain, minus 1 by u square, du by dt, okay, shall I rub this, uh, we have the answer, I will keep the answer here only, so that we can compare it, you will get a very close answer, okay, so we will shift it here, 1 by v square, dv by dt, is equal to minus 1 by u square, du by dt, 1 by v square, uh, speed of uh, what is that image is equal to minus 1 by u squared speed of object ok now what is speed of image that is our question speed of image is equal to minus I will bring this here v square by u square speed of object now Take the first case. What is the first case? When the object is at 12 meters itself, you know what is u, 12 meters. You know what is v. We got it as 4, uh, 3 meters, right? Coming back to the previous solution. This is needed. At that position, when the object is at 12 meters, image distance, first image distance is 3 meters. Then we shifted it after 1 second to uh, 10 meters and a new image distance. But that one, one second gap is too much larger gap. So whatever the answer we have got is not more accurate. So what we can do? Speed of the image. So image speed is equal to. And we are finally retained with a negative sign. Very simple. Why it is negative? When the object is coming in this direction, image is coming in the, sorry, object is coming in the positive x-axis, image is coming in the negative x-axis. So it is in the opposite direction minus of v square, v square is 3 square, image distance square, divided by object distance square, 12 square, into speed of the object, speed it is given 2 meters per second, 2, so what is the image speed, is equal to minus 9 by, okay, I will put this uh, whole uh, under square, 1 by 4 square, 16, am I right, it is a uh, 3 4 za whole square 2 this is 1 by 8 with a minus sign so what is image speed image speed is uh, minus 0.125 meters per second see this is actually the correct answer at this position remember at this position it is correct but at uh, when you calculate after moving by 2 meters in one second if you calculate it at uh, uh, 10 meters Definitely, it would not be this one. It may be different. So, this has given some average value of answer. This is most accurate. So, velocity will not be the same. Only in plane mirror it is so, because um, object distance is and image distances are same. So, it doesn't matter uh, whether you calculate it at some position or other position. Velocity is same. But uh, here it is not so. So, this is a way of solving the problem. In the theory exam, the previous method is enough. Here, you can, uh, in the entrance exam, or you can follow this also, no problem. Uh, we have, shall we move on to the next question, 
okay uh, we will see yeah. we will move on to the next question Yes, we will move on to this question now. That is, a beam of light is incident on the surface of a liquid at an angle of 45 degrees. Angle of refraction is 30 deg 32 degrees. What is the speed of light in the liquid? Okay, uh, answer is given. Now, how to do this? A beam of light is incident on the surface of a liquid at an angle of 45 degrees. Angle of refraction is 32 degrees. What is the speed of light in the liquid? Okay, take the paper, right, and uh, um, try to solve this. Now, if you come back to the board, beam of light is incident on the surface of a liquid at an angle of 45 degrees. Hope you have not forgotten what is sine 45. So, it undergoes refraction like this. This is 45. Okay, and it undergoes refraction at 32 degrees. Okay, 32 degrees. Then what is the speed of light in the liquid? Okay, now you know you can connect all the things related to this problem. That is, uh, uh, this is I, this is R. Velocity, speed of light in this medium is V1, this is V2, and uh, uh, refractive indices are not given. So you are asked to find out, okay, we have, suppose this is the refractive indis, index of the first medium with respect to air, refractive index of this medium with respect to air. So then refractive index of second medium with respect to first medium is N2 by N1. This is the only one which is in the inverted form, two above and one below. And they, all the other formulas, first medium by second medium, sin I by sin R. Velocity of light in the first medium, speed of light in the second medium. So, speed of light in the first medium to the speed of light in the second medium ratio. Now, I think you can connect these two. These are the two things which can be connected, V1 by V2. Okay, directly writing and it is a beam of light is surface of a liquid. It is given, it is really incident from the surface of a, uh, towards the surface of a liquid. What about the first one? Nothing is referred. It is air. You need not worry about that. So, I can write C by V. What is the speed of light in the liquid? Sin I, sin 45. By sin r, sin r is sin 32 is equal to c by v. So we will have to have a theta sin theta table. We will have to have sin theta table. Sin 32 we have to have. So take a uh, log table and uh, uh, be ready with this one. Sin 3 into 10 to the power 8. What is the speed of light in the medium? Right? V m you can write or you can simply write. Uh, so we want sin 32. You have to go for sin 32 yes okay natural signs and you know what is sin 45 so if you write the value sin 45 is 1 by root 2 1 divided by root 2 and uh, sin 32 is uh, 1 by don't know the, we will see that 3 into 10 to the power 8 by v and uh, so this we have to substitute so going to the sign table you can see the sign table uh, here sin 32 means you have to look it at 32 so be ready with the log tables with you uh, every time i can't show it to you sin 32 degrees 0 minutes do you get it here it is uh, 0 0.52992 it is here so if you want to know 32.5 degrees for example where you will go 0.5 degrees 30 minutes so 32 degrees 30 minutes is here half degree but now it is only sin 32 degrees, 32 degrees 0 minute here. So it is a 0 0.52992, correct? You know sin 30 is a half, right? Very close to half it should be. So just go to sin 32 first row, that is 0 minutes. Suppose you are asked to calculate sin 32 degree, the fifth, uh, 0.5 degrees, 32.5 degrees, then it is this one. 30 minutes means half degree. So it is 32 degrees 0 minute now, 0.52992. So we can uh, uh, write the answer here now, 0.52992. You have to get the answer, I don't have calculator here now. You just check it, what is the speed of light in that medium? V is equal to, speed of light in the medium is equal to, uh, 
So you can bring V here. 3 into 10 to the power 8 into root 2. So everything comes to the numerator. So V is equal to V here. 3 into root 2 into 0.52992. 0 0.52992. So uh, into 10 to the power 8. That's what you have to write. V is equal to. Uh, answer is written in the problem. Uh, so th uh, I will approximately do it like this. Uh, let us check. Uh, you check it in the calculator. 1.414 root 2 into 0 0.5. Right? 0 0.52992. Okay, 99. Actually, you will get 10 to the power 8. So the answer will be, you see, I will take this as almost 0 0.5. Okay? Almost 0 0.5 means half. Half of 1.4 is 0 0.7. 0 0.7 into 3 means it is almost 2.1. What is the answer given? 2.24, yes. You check it in the calculator. This is 2.24 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second. Check it. I didn't bring the calculator. Okay. So I did it like this. 0 0.5, half of, half of 1.414. Half of 1.414 is 0 0.7. 0 0.7 into 3, 2.1. This is 2.24. Yes, answer is correct. Check it. This is how we do, right? Okay. Uh, moving back to another problem. Yes. Here also you require. Uh, okay, you see the problem first. A ray of light enters a glass. Uh, slab making an uh, angle of uh, 30 degree with the normal. A ray of light enters a glass slab making an angle of 30 degree with the normal. Calculate the angle made by the ray within the glass if the refractive index of glass is 1.5. See it is given refractive index of glass is 1.5. What is body mean by that with respect to air? It is not mentioned. Need not be mentioned. It is uh, quite common. So, ray of light enters a glass slab, making an angle of 30 degree with the normal. Calculate the angle made by the ray within the glass if the refractive index of glass is 1.5. Okay, we will come back to the board now. A ray of light is incident on the glass such that the normal to the glass slab makes an angle of 30 degree. So, it makes an angle of 30 degree with the normal. This is I. Calculate the angle made by the ray within the glass if the refractive index of glass is. So this angle, what is the angle? And this is 1.5. This is refractive index of glass with respect to air. And this is, uh, like enters a glass lab making an, okay, this is air. And you know that refractive index of air is 1. Because you have to compare air with the air itself. Velocity of light in air divided by velocity of light in air. That is 1. Uh, so if it is this is R, this is R, then the light would have moved straight and sin I by sin R is sin 30 by sin 30. So it is a 1. Okay. Uh, refractive index of R is 1. And uh, um, now you are asked to calculate what is R. You apply that uh, cross multiplied general law. Refractive index into sin of the angle. Refractive index into sin of the angle. That will do. So 1. So I will write N1 sin I is equal to n2 sin r. What is n1? 1. Sin i, sin 30 is equal to n2. n2, n2 is 1.5. What is sin? Sin, don't know, sin r. Sin 30 degrees half, 1 by 2 is equal to 1.5 sin r. So what is sin r? Sin r is equal to, okay, uh, sin r is equal to 1.5 here it comes to 3, right? 2 into 1.5, 3. What is sin r? Sin r is equal to, uh, we need the log table now. We want 0.333, right? Sin r is equal to 0.333. r is equal to sin inverse of 0.333. What is the answer? Answer is 19.5 degrees. Let us see whether we will get it or not. 0.333. So how to search 0.3333 in uh, sin? Uh, we don't have 0.333 here. We have to go back, I think. It is uh, less than uh, 30 degrees. Sin 30 is uh, 0.5, right? But this is 0.333. So it will be less than 0.33. You have to go to the previous page. Um, 
yeah, previous page, uh, you have uh, and uh, yes, point three 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 are search here, somewhere here. I think uh, we get it here. Yeah. Yes. Right. One minute. Yeah. Point three three. Yes. You will get it here. Point three three three. Where is it? See, point three two five five seven. Point three two eight three two. Point three three. Ah, here it is. This is enough for us. Point three 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 eight one. That is enough. Can you see this? Is it? Is it? Uh, oh, okay. Point. Uh, 3, 3. It is 19 degree and 0.33. This is enough for us. Uh, uh, and where is it? It is in the 30 minutes. What is 30 minutes? It is like uh, hours and minutes. Uh, when you say 30 minutes, it is half an hour. 15 minutes, uh, 0.25 hours, one quarter of the hour. So uh, now if you want to see 0 0.333, 19 degrees. Uh, here is a 0 0.32, 0 0.328, 0 0.331. 0.333, that is enough for us. We are very close to the answer now. This is 0.336, so this will be the best answer, most suitable answer. You need not go for a very accurate answer in degrees and minutes. This is enough. Where is it, this number? 0 0.3333, 19 degree, and this is in 30 minutes. What is 19 degrees and 30 minutes? 30 minutes means half degree. See, you have to write it like this. It is like uh, you observe a clock. Uh, 60 minutes, 1 hour, correct? 30 minutes, half an hour, 0.5 hour. Half an hour is 0.5 hours. And uh, 15 minutes, it is 1 by 4th of an hour, right? That is uh, 0.25 hours, 1 quarter of an hour. So in the same way, uh, you can write this as point, uh, so 19 degrees, it is 30 minutes, 19.5 degrees. 19.5 degrees that is what we have got 19 degrees 30 minutes remember when you write a time like this uh, say 1 hour 30 minutes 1 hour is different 30 minutes is different if you want to club 1 hour to 30 minutes you have to add 1.5 okay so that is answer angle of refraction so we will uh, uh, so that is 19.5 degrees we have that answer so we will uh, see the next questions in the next session okay we will uh, stop at the moment. We will come back with a few more problems. Right. Thank you. Hope you are working out some other problems also. Thank you.